And then for our final topic, the import and export of NPS policies off of this machine. Uh, we've dealt with import and export before. In fact, I don't know, arguably it's probably one of the least exciting of the possible topics that we need to know. Uh, what you should be aware of, however, is that it is possible to export and import a configuration on or off an NPS server. And in cases where, particularly with those shared secrets, doing so through some automated solution, like what I'll show you here in the graphical user interface or through PowerShell, ensures that those very long configurations make their way onto that replacement server. This can be useful when you need to take this existing configuration and move it onto a second and or a third and so on additional server to create this load balanced environment. And the last thing you want is this server going down and users not being able to connect in to access your internal environment. So the only thing I want to show you here is that if you right click here at the top node, you can choose to export out the configuration of this radius server. So this is effectively all the configurations that you would need to apply to that second or third server to create that load balanced configuration. And the only other thing I want to show you is down here under PowerShell, if we take a look at an elevated command prompt here, I can show you just a couple of equivalent PowerShell commandlets you would use to export and then import in that NPS configuration. The first of these is export NPS configuration. And it is, is exactly what you might assume. This is the, the command that you would use to export out exactly what we just did there uh, in the interface itself. With the other command that being import uh, NPS configuration as well. So export and import in so you can take those policies and replicate them out to other NPS servers that would exist in a load balancing situation.